Welcome, adventurers, to an epic journey through the realms of Palworld. Today we embark on a quest like no other as we delve into the heart of combat where strength and strategy collide. Get ready to witness the ultimate showdown as we rank every weapon based on their sheer destructive power. From the humble beginnings of a wooden stick to the awe-inspiring might of a rocket launcher, join us as we unveil the arsenal of Palworld in all its glory. So grab your gear, sharpen your blades, and prepare to be immersed in a world where the power of weapons reigns supreme. We have done a video on the melee weapons and one on the ranged weapons that's separate from this so in this one we're going to be going over the results of both and seeing what weapons you want to use and which ones to skip not all weapons in power world are built the same and it shows so in this spreadsheet here i currently have the weapons listed by the level that you unlock them at as you can see we have it set so that we got the weapon name we got the level that you unlock it at we have the damage that you're doing with them and whether they inflict a status effect i will have them rearranged later in the video to show you different things so first we're looking at the fists we say it's level zero just because you don't really need to craft them or anything you just get them right from when you start so with those you're doing 20 damage even the chickpeas you're not going to one hit them with it well with it it's your fists you're not really not going to so moving on to the wooden club which you unlock at level one you can see it's got a 40 damage so it's double your fists also no status effect handheld torch is where you're going to start seeing you're doing less damage per hit than your fists which is kind of weird but it does inflict a status effect so that's why it does less damage because you can actually catch the pal on fire that you're attacking and if you catch them on fire it's going to be a status effect making it easier to catch but also i believe it does percent damage on total health so it could actually end up doing more damage than some other things on here because of the status effect causing damage over time so with stone pickaxe you're doing 33 damage no status effect and the stone axe 30 damage no status effect Effect. So at level one, if you're gonna really do anything, grab the wooden club. But realistically, I wouldn't even unlock a weapon at level one. You're gonna level up quick in the beginning and you're gonna double your damage by going to the wooden club. But it's really not worth it because at level three, you can unlock the old bow, which is doing 130 damage. No status effect, but you're gonna do more damage from farther away. So you don't need to get up to them and hit them. You can just shoot them from wherever you want as long as you're within the range, which is a pretty decent range so you're gonna want to use the old bow now once you get to level four you get to unlock your first spear which again i wouldn't go with the wooden club because a couple levels later you're gonna get the stone spear which is gonna do a lot more damage but no status effect obviously the only thing so far has been the handheld torch. So at level 5, you're going to unlock the fire bow, which all of the bows are going to do the same damage, 130. But with the fire bow, you can get a status effect. So at this point, the handheld torch becomes pretty useless unless you're trying to farm something down to 1 health. Because, you know, at 130 damage or 33 damage, 20 damage, it's going to be a lot harder to get it down in health safely without killing it accidentally. So the fire bow, you're going to need fire organs for, which kind of sucks. You can, if you have a flame bell, put it in your ranch, it'll drop it. Or you can farm a bunch of fox sparks. It's going to take a lot of organs to do it. At level 7, you're going to get the bat, which does 80 damage. No status effect, obviously. Poison bow, you need venom glands for, for the status effect. Again, 130 damage. And the three shot bow at level 10. So at level 10, this is where things get a little bit interesting. Because the three shot bow, it's doing 70 damage, but it does three shots. So it's really doing closer to, you know, 210 plus damage which out of everything is pretty good and if you did watch my other video you can tell that even with the crits it just takes way off it is by far the best weapon that you can get at this time despite it being not the top damage per shot but it's got three shots so kind of evens out at level 11 you're gonna get the metal pickaxe at 50 damage and realistically the pickaxes you can craft them but i kind of think they're a little bit of a waste just because you can get your pals to do the mining for you you don't need to put the technology points into them but if you do, you're going to mine faster. But if your base is on a mine and you have like a Tombat, early game obviously we're talking because we're at level 14, you get your base on a mine with a Tombat to farm or to mine it, you're, you're going to be okay. Unless you need a lot of materials right now, then it might be worth it. That's totally up to your gameplay though, right? People play different ways. Now at 15, you're going to get the Metal Axe, which does 50 damage, which is good for logging. But again, I don't really think it's necessary. And obviously those, neither of them have a status effect. The Meat Cleaver, 
Cleaver at level 12 with 40 damage. I wouldn't use it out in the field, but if you're at base and you need to get rid of some pals, that is one way to do it. Get the drops also. Obviously no status effect. Metal Spear at 13. So Spears are what you are really going to be looking for for close range combat. They are much better than anything else. So you can see the Stone Spear is doing 55 damage, which is significantly more than the next one up, which is 33 damage. And now that you're getting the Metal Spear at level 13, it's doing 125. So it is by far the best. So in my playthrough, I never used the three shot bow. I never used really any of these but once you hit that crossbow you're going from 125 with the metal spear to 550 and the great thing is it uses the same arrows as the three shot bow or the old bow so at level 13 absolutely unlock the crossbow that is the first one that you need to unlock everything else in here you can basically skip but if you are i would go with the stone spear until you can get the three shot bow and then go to the crossbow but at level 10 of the three shot bow to level 13 of the crossbow i would probably skip it entirely now if you have your xp rate turned down or something and you know it's taking longer then things can change but my recommendation would be crossbow is the first one you need to unlock then the fire arrow crossbow at 15 which will have a status effect and the poison arrow crossbow at 17 which will have a status effect they all do the same all the crossbows do the same damage and all the bows do the same damage so the old bow fire bow and the poison bow do the same and then the fire crossbow poison crossbow they do the same as the regular crossbow but they do status effects which fire arrow and the poison are going to need the flame organs and the venom glands again so at level 20 you're going to have access to all of these weapons. Now, which is the best at this point? At this point, you're going to want to use the crossbow. 100%. It is the best ranged weapon in there. And as for melee weapons, you're going to want to use the metal spear at level 13, which is the same as the crossbow. So that's pretty straightforward. The higher level ones as opposed to the lower level ones. Now at 21, you get the musket, which 2000 damage. That is your first big weapon, but it is very slow to reload. So unless you're going after specific bosses that are stronger than you, I would probably skip the musket. Because of its reload speed, it makes it obsolete. You're going to basically kill everything you hit with it or very close to unless you're fighting again higher level pals or people but if there's a lot of them it's gonna be too slow of a reload i mean that's kind of up to you but i would skip the musket the stun baton you get at level 22 it's back to doing 16 damage but it's inflicting that status effect so if you had the handheld torch and the stun baton both doing status effects that would be you know okay but they have such a short range you have to be right at the enemy and i don't know if it really increases it that much to be worth it none of the ones that do status effects are guaranteed to do it every time so you could be hitting them not doing any status effect so you'd have to sit there whacking them with the handheld torch and then start whacking them with the baton and hoping the first effect doesn't wear off before you can get the second one on so for me personally i don't use them but if it works for you then by all means go for it the makeshift handgun you get at level 25 is doing 650 damage per shot no status effect so at 650 per shot we talked about that in the video it is higher well for First, you know, let's uh, go to here. The handgun we get at level 29 is doing 500 damage per shot, no status effect. So the makeshift handgun is doing more damage per hit. But the difference between them is the makeshift handgun you have six shots at 650, where the handgun you have five shots at 500. So for you to do the math on that, six shots at 650 is three 3,900 damage, and eight times 500 is 4,000. So with the handgun you could be doing a little bit more damage, and you get to fire the handgun quicker than you get to fire the makeshift handgun for some reason it's got a slight delay between shots between the two of them the damage variance could be very slim and they do take different ammo the makeshift handgun takes coarse ammo which you can get everywhere the handgun ammo is not as readily available out in the world so the makeshift handgun versus the handgun you know they're a couple levels apart one of them is not really significantly better next at 31 we have the frag grenade which does 1500 damage everyone in the range gets the same damage uh, no status effect then at 32 you get the shot grenade which is basically the stun baton except you get to throw it and it does 1500 damage inflicting the status effect instead of 16 damage inflicting the status effect so if you're trying to use it on something that is lower on health shock grenade is not the one to use the stun baton is and with the shock grenade being a projectile you're gonna have to continuously craft it where the stun baton you can just fix it up once in a while but all the grenades do 1500 damage now you have the refined metal spear 
you get a level 34 at 510 damage with no status effect your fine metal pickaxe 34 also 95 damage and no status effect just blaze through these pretty quickly up until the end uh, the refined metal axe 34 95 damage no status effect single shot rifle 36 2200 damage no status effect actually i didn't want to talk about this one because the musket that you get at 21 versus the single shot rifle at 36 single shot rifle is better than the musket in every way does more damage quicker fire rate they still do one shot or they have to reload hence the single shot rifle but it is so much better you're doing a little bit more damage and you're firing it quicker where if we look at the handgun in the makeshift handgun it's the opposite one of them shoots faster and the other one does more damage now the ice grenade at 37 is doing 1500 damage it's doing the sad effect double barrel shotgun at 39 is doing 350 damage per pellet that hits and it does hit in a spread hitting multiple times no status effect. Lily Sphere at 40, 710, and no status effect. So at level 40, these are all of the ones you're going to have access to. And what you're going to want is Lily Sphere is good. You can pretty well use it all the way through 50. Even when you're level 50, you can still use the Lily Sphere. I think it is actually better than the sword, even though the sword does a little bit more damage. Lily Sphere, you can hit from farther away. And, and basically that's it. You can hit it from farther away. Double barrel shotgun is great for close. So I would consider that your melee weapon at this time. Single shot rifle is your distance weapon, so those are the two I would use double barrel shotgun and the single shot rifle. You could throw in Lily Spear if you wanted an actual melee weapon that you don't have to craft bullets for. I'd go with Lily Spear. I mean, really, you could use either the single shot rifle or the handgun or makeshift handgun depending but double barrel shotgun is very nice and lily spear is very good you can use it for farming also incinerary grenade 41 1500 damage yes there is a status effect pump action shotgun you get at 42 is doing 430 damage per pellet and it hits multiple pellets you know hitting multiple times no status effect the sword you get at 44 is doing 850 damage no status effect assault rifle at 45 is doing 450 damage per shot it's got 20 shots no status effect and the rocket launcher at 49 is doing 20,000 damage and I'm gonna say yes it does have a status effect because it can knock them down so when it knocks them down they're dazed I would call it so I would say that is a status effect because they're not actually moving around and fighting so like with jet dragon he drops to the ground with a bunch of stars around him so I would say yes that is a status effect. and then the Elizabeth staff who you cannot craft that's the NA, doing 250 damage, and again, no status effect. So now I want to go over this list, but remaster. So we're going to come down here. So now I have it made, so we don't have these sorted by level anymore. We have it sorted by damage output, and we still have the level so we can see where we want to be, and then obviously we start as effects are still here so right so we're looking level one level 22 and then your fists which there's only the two that do less damage than you so the old bow you can see is doing pretty good because it's level three and it is close to halfway down so for damage output the old bow is very good now our crossbow is down here it's one of the higher end ones and it's still at level 13 so you can see level eight to level 13 130 to 550 so the crossbow you're going to be taking in to mid to late game especially if you were like me and ended up getting the epic crossbow so it was doing even more so that i pushed until basically i got the assault rifle which you can see the assault rifle is doing 450 so it's less but you get 20 shots at 450 as opposed to one at 550. So the assault rifle, despite its damage output being less, is actually a little bit better. So see our rocket launcher at 20,000 is obviously the best. Single shot rifle is the next one at 2200 though. Then your musket at 2000, then your grenades. The sword is the melee weapon that does the most damage. Well, I would still take Lily Spear over it like we talked about. It's got a much better range, which we talk about in my video, in the melee video, if you want to go and see it in action. Then we got makeshift handgun, poison arrow, fire crossbows, refined metal spear. So besides the sword and lily spear, refined metal spear is the next best melee weapon. Handgun, then the assault rifle, pump action, double barreled. Yes, we are going backwards from best to worst. Then Elizabeth staff, which if you can get it early on, it's not bad, but it is a rare drop. So there's a good chance you're not ever going to use it. So you can see, we're going to skip to the top here. The meat cleaver, level 12. Well, obviously the stun baton, but because it does status effect, that's why it's so low. The meat cleaver is the first one that drops off drastically besides the stomaton. It's level 12 being outclassed by level 11s, by level 4, 
a level 7, level 10. So the meat cleaver, you're not really going to want to use because at level 11, you might as well just use something else, All right? The stone spear, you can see down here. So that is actually pretty good. Then the bat at level 7, so 4 to 7, you might, depending on how quickly you're leveling, you could probably skip the stone spear and go straight to the bat. But yeah, the old bow, level 3, it is very, very good based on this chart. But five levels later, you get the crossbow. So you could run the old bow because the old bow and the crossbow take the same arrows. Just make a bunch of arrows and then switch out the bow to the crossbow. And the last thing we have here is all of our status effects. These are only ones with status effects and it is listed from damage. So from least at level one, you get the handhold torch, 16. Level two, the stun baton, 16 damage. Fire bow, level five at 130 damage. Poison bow at eight, 130 damage. Fire crossbow at 15, 550. Poison arrow crossbow at 17, 550. Ice grenade at 37, doing 1500. Incinerate grenade at 41, doing 1500. Shock grenade at 32, doing 1500. And the rocket launcher at 49, doing 2000. So out of the ones that do status effects, I would consider who you're fighting. If you're fighting someone like Jet Dragon, you'll probably want to use. And the rocket launcher, if you're fighting somebody like Frostallion or Necro, maybe the grenades but in the rocket launcher if you're fighting someone like Masanda, maybe just the regular bows depending on your level but when would you use the handheld torch and the stun baton probably a slow ground unit so like you could use it on mama rest but he does an attack where he hits everything around him so you wouldn't really want to use it you're probably going to want to use crossbows and if you're using the torch and the stun baton to try to catch a chickpea i would say that is a waste you can just punch them and throw some spheres so really the handheld torch stun baton there's not a lot you're actually going to use them on you're going to want to use ranged weapons so the fire bow poison bow you could use early on as i believe they both do percentage of health over time i believe that's how their status effect works and then you got your crossbows which do significantly more damage than the poison and fire bows so you're going to want to use them on higher level pals by the time you're level 15 and 17 you're not really going to be using the bows anymore but i think the handheld torch and stun baton i think the stun baton's a waste the handheld torch could be good if you're trying to catch higher level pals then you can use like the handheld torch but you're better off using the fire bow if you're using the handheld torch on lower level enemies it's kind of worthless in my opinion the only time you're going to want to use the status effects are on higher level pals by the time you hit level five you got the fire bow which is going to be much better than the handheld torch unless it's got like 100 health but i think the situations are very slim where you're going to use the handheld torch and even slimmer for the stun baton and crossbows so really it's just the bows and crossbows that you're going to be using i would imagine the grenades are okay if you're not right on top of the enemy or if you're not too far away i'm sure you saw in my video it's hard to get the grenades in in the spot that you want them if you're too close or too far but they do great damage so if it's a high level enemy you could spam grenades at them and if it's low level enemy it's just going to annihilate them and then the rocket launcher which does the knockdown effect if you were to throw the grenades and shoot them with the rocket launcher and everything did a status effect that would be amazing but it's unlikely really going to happen it would increase your catch rate by a lot but the chances of it happening are pretty slim and then you have to throw the sphere while all of the effects are taking place which they don't last for a super long time so that makes it even harder too by the time you get the next status effect on the one you got on last is coming off at level 50 the ones i've been using are lily spear the pump action shotgun the assault rifle and the rocket launcher so in my opinion as soon as you unlock them those are the ones you should be going for. Now, they do unlock at level 40 and up, so they are late game, but once you get there, they do the most damage per second. So I definitely recommend getting all of these ones as soon as you can. If you have any questions, my Discord will be linked in the comments. Feel free to join and ask any questions you may have there. As our adventure through the weapon hierarchy of Power World comes to a close, I hope you've enjoyed this thrilling journey. From the primitive bows and arrows to the explosive rocket launchers, each weapon has showed its unique ability in the realm of combat. But remember, true power power lies not only in the strength of your armament, but also in the skills of the wielder. So as you embark on your own adventures, may your choices be guided by wisdom, and may your battles be epic. Until next time, fellow adventurers, may your weapons be sharp, your aim true, and your victories legendary. Farewell, and may the journey ahead be filled with countless triumphs.